We'll go back, everybody, to total nonstop impact. Impact talk for impact fans right here on the YouTube and the Twitch and wherever you get your podcast audio worldwide, baby. To my left, your right, Alicia's here. Oh, that's me. Oh, it's you. Hey. How's it going? I just heard it's a knock. Going. And then a, we heard a, we heard a <laughs> bloop better late than ever. We're, okay. we're going to have to have a talk with him about this. Mr. Bill. I'm kidding. Welcome, bro. <laughs> How's it going? It's going, man. You are Ready obviously. Uh, oh, lots of fallout. Lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, how was your traveling weekend with everything going on for Slammiversary? Did everything go well? Yeah, you know, everything Everything went smooth. Uh, the uh, The trip up on Saturday left in the, in the wee hours. Uh, got there. Uh, there. There was a little bit of traffic, uh, like at the border. There was like there was events going on in Windsor and stuff. So hmm. uh, it was a little slow down around there. And there was some like weather was great on the way up until like going from like Ohio in the Michigan uh, had a little bit of uh, rain, uh, some heavy rain that slowed down a lot of the traffic. So uh, the, slight delay near the end, but for the most part, it was pretty smooth sailing. Uh, going back my my usual uh, right after the TV tapings and driving through the night, uh, no traffic there, obviously. Uh, so that that was pretty pretty smooth. Um, I did have uh, an interesting exchange with the uh, going across the border in the Canada. Oh. Uh, so because normally you get the especially like it's Windsor, which is like if I'm crossing from new york into canada it's like a pa guy that's not that big of a deal so it's not usually that much but windsor's like oh that's multiple states what's going on here you got to be a crazy person to be be going to a wrestling show uh so i kind of got that and and then like the guy's like oh so 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 what are you going to see i'm like oh professional wrestling pay-per-view and then he's like who i'm like impact wrestling the old tna and he's like, that's still around? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's kind of really, it, they do a ton of shows right right down the street here, buddy. You got to start paying attention. Uh, oh, so yeah. Time hopefully you checked it, it out. There you go. Well, if he didn't check out, hopefully he at least uh, heard about it. Yeah, a lot of people in the chat talking about audio problems. Uh in the last uh, segment, they of they the just night. put that segment up on YouTube. I didn't yeah, notice the it. Full segment, the full segment's up on YouTube now. Well, it wasn't on for the uh, the YouTube was fine. It was Access oh, TV okay. and Fight TV. In right. I was going to say I kind of dozed off a little at the end there, so that was maybe why I didn't hear it. But thank you for clearing that up. I watched it on the YouTube. Can you blame her? She's cuddling with kitties. I mean, it's, you know. I listen. I'm very busy. I'm busy, busy. (laughs) Busy, busy, busy. A busy bee, if you will. Busy. (laughs) (laughs) We all. We all so busy. There's 24 usable hours in a day. And I. I don't know whether to say congratulations or I'm sorry. Oh please no! Uh oh, uh oh! I that, already have a plan. If that's the case, that's that's a sound bite we haven't played in a while. Maybe there's a reason to play. Oh, no. there's a <laughs> well that we saw. We we saw some. Uh, I mean, we're gonna cover news and stuff, but uh, we saw a certain individual come back on the show tonight that we have not seen in a long time. It's been a while. It's been he a while. Wasn't, okay, he, he wasn't dressed as the dapper yapper he usually is. Put it this way: last time I saw him in Chicago a few months ago, he was dressed to the nines. You would have thought he was trying to take, you know, Scott, you know, President Scotty's job. But no. Uh, no, he's just obviously someone very important in the company. And I was like, man, look at you, man. It's awesome. You know, no more earmuffs and sunglasses. The guy, the guy's come a long way, but now tonight we see him wearing 
you know, trying to, you know, bust out the old Dean Ambrose outfit from 10 years ago. And some for some of you probably are like, what the hell is he talking about? I'm talking is about the, the shield. The, I'm talking about the riot gear that the shield used to wear. Yes, sir. Maybe yeah. the shield took that from Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Oh. You ever think of that? No, no. <laughs> He's a border <laughs> city wrestling legend, Jay Ben. I don't know what he was doing in Border City Wrestling back then. Maybe he made it in vogue. This is this is true. Maybe he was. The, Although, the, I, I don't know if anyone could, could catch it, but maybe other than people near me. But when this individual came out, I could tell. I could tell it was Bravo by the body type. Like I'm really? like that's Johnny Bravo. I just had a feeling. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I'm not sure if that's something like proud to be that aware. Or maybe it was the me. movement. Maybe it was the mannerism stuff. But something about it screamed. That's Bravo. The Johnny Bravoism. Man, if that ain't Johnny Bravo underneath that helmet. <laughs> well, I mean, your spidey senses were right, clearly. I know a lot of people are saying they thought it was his <laughs> former tag team partner, but for some reason I had this feeling it was it was Johnny Bravo. I don't know why. I thought maybe it was, it was like say. I thought maybe it was Roman Reigns, like you know, his head's all over the place lately. Maybe he got yeah. lost and took a trip up to Windsor for a vacation. <laughs> well, this this is this is a much bigger reveal, J Bell. Uh oh this this is true. This is true. Yeah, like if, he, we like if he crossed the border up there, they'd be like, "Who's this guy?" You know. Let's take it back to the realm of reality. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, exactly. Reality. Right. So Johnny Bravo crosses the border. They're like, "Oh damn! Hey, Bravo's here!" You know. Bravo. Gets crazy. Yes. Gets crazy. Truly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, is that the the poster from uh, the weekend? It's a nice poster. Oh, oh you got autographies. Look at that. Oh, yeah, they had some Ooh, autographs. You got a, There's a, you got a tray. Or a Diana, Diana. Hackettstown alum. And I believe <laughs> all the way in the bottom, they're Josh, returning. Josh, Josh I'm back, Alexander. I'm back, Alexander. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Of course, he wasn't on the poster. You can't spoil that. But uh, right. that is cool. That's very cool. I was thinking about making some kind of like Chicago Heat posters. There you go. Yeah, like Bring eleven, heat, like, like like eleven by seventeen, and like handing a bunch of them out, and people can just you know either get them signed or hold them up. You know, that's like I don't know. Mm -hmm. You should do it. Let, let's. Bring back signs at wrestling shows, right? Just Bring as long back. as you have enough sense to not hold it up the whole show. Yeah. That's cool. There we go. Get the get the Chicago is it, going. Is it like a poster? Or is it like a poster board? That seemed like a poster board. It's oh, okay. They went back to the foam. Yeah, the foam poster. Yeah. That's pretty dope. They were yeah. they were doing them for shows for a period of time. Then they kind of got away from. Them. Then they. Bring them back here and there. So always good like they, when they, they like they were supposed merch. to do them. They were supposed to do them the last time we were in Chicago together. Mm -hmm. okay. They for, they forgot. Yeah, because I asked because they there was a stack of them like this, like like two or three stacks on that back table there. That's that. look, and I was like, oh, that's that's the sign for the weekend. And I said, and they, they were packing up stuff. This is the end of night two, and I'm like, hey, can I get, can I get one of those? Can I? You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you got cash. I'm like, throw you ten bucks, you know. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm like, if I, and, and then uh, someone was like, um, oh, just yeah, let me check real quick before I sell it. You know, I didn't want to like, you know, throw off everything. So and the girl comes back and hands it to me and says, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> like, okay, don't worry about it. Jay. Well, we got to highlight a little super sticker here, J Bone from Bell's Boy. Bell's a twenty dollars super sticker. Hola, Alicia, J Bone, and Front Row Bill. What a week! MJF Ola. does a suicide dive. Chelsea Green finally wins a WWE belt. 
UPS might be going on strike. Kenny loses in Mexico and Impact has technical issues again. Stay cool. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Bells Boy. That's a all of the, listen, other than the greeting in the last sentence, all of that could be backspace, alt, delete. <laughs> <laughs> We don't well, cover that He just that gave here, us the guys. world of wrestling news. <laughs> Boy, thank you for letting us know what's going Impact on. Impact Wrestling! Doing the Lord's work. Absolutely, Bells Boy. Thank you. But congratulations to Chelsea. Yes. That's pretty big. Yeah. Her and um, Sonia? Yes. I believe. That'd be a good team, Sonya yeah. Deville, right? They're 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 uh, they're not, they're not. I don't think that's their official name is the Karens, but that's kind of what they're called, you know, known as. Because excuse their... me, I need to speak to your manager. Yes. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> well, I believe she's a free agent too. She could manage them. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't think she's very popular right now given the news that came out. Oh, her. fuck her. Trash. Trash. Somebody's rolling over in his grave right now, poor son bitch. Um we do have a we, we do have a little news to talk about. We do have a little news to talk about. Um returns from the dead. Now wait a minute. I don't think he was actually He survived. He survived, yeah. I mean, that story goes back a bit, you know, to uh, before Taya to uh, to made her first exit. Ago. Right, right from Taya's first, yeah. <laughs> so now I miss just, her. Is oh god, yeah, I miss her. God, I, I miss her hubby. Now I gotta watch Rampage. <laughs> to fucking, anyways. Um, Jay Bo. Sorry yes. about your damn. Tomorrow and Saturday night, I, I'm going to be getting my flow. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, there's two wrestling shows in New Jersey tomorrow oh. and Saturday. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel coming out of these. Are you wait? Are you going to XPW next weekend? Not no, this weekend, no. the following. Well, no, I'll be with J Bone in Chicago for. Oh, opinion. that's right. That's right. Yep. A um, lot of stuff going on that weekend. Local too much. Around. Every weekend, too much. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> we're, we're about mere people. How much can we really fit in? No oh, shit. I'm only one man, J Bone. <laughs> <laughs> You're driving. I don't have the power. <laughs> You drive your crazy ass all over God's green earth. <laughs> Cheers to you, you crazy <laughs> bastard. Oops. There's a whole lot of titties in the the background photo. Who made this? What? The oh, this here. Oh, <laughs> there's the booby. That's um. That's uh, Josh. Oh, there's oh, a booby. Oh, come on. That's a check. Check. <laughs> that, That's the returning. Um, and, it does seem like a little bit of a oh, zoom in. I'm not going to disagree with you here. I, why? That way. It's, I, uh, I'm confused. What the hell? Oh, my God. I'm drawing a complete freaking blank. Something. Oh, yeah. Can't forget. Jake. That's Jake. Well. Chicago. <laughs> Who knows, so, J-Bone? I might be having some pizza. In the near future, a little yeah, birthday y'all better pizza, send me a deep dish. some pizza za on Friday. Oh, I think we're going to definitely. If I go to Chicago, I think I would just eat pizza the whole weekend. It'd be tough. You'd have to mix I... it with the thin crust. You couldn't go. Deep yeah, dish I couldn't. You couldn't go deep dish. I've never had deep dish before, like authentic Chicago deep dish. So I would right, have to try gotta... it at least once. But yeah. otherwise, I would just go for a regular pizza. You gotta, and don't get some like it- frozen deep dish bullshit out of the. Store. Yeah, you gotta go to a, like a real place. Yeah, well, I'm just saying because you know. Well, it's- listen, hey, Brooklyn deep dish and all that's a way different story, okay? <laughs> than Chicago, Chicago isn't that like it's pizza different. lasagna? Yeah, it's pizza lasagna. Yeah, pizza it's lasagna. casual. And then it's there's casual. a deep uh, Detroit 
it has their own like deep uh what, Detroit more, very like a different pan. but it's more similar to what you're talking about like a Brooklyn deep dish or like uh like a Trenton pie type thing in Jersey like yeah. more of your like a tomato pie. Sicilian yeah more Sicilian. like Sicilian or tomato yeah yeah old fashioned Sicilian yeah where's the FBI with <laughs> Now I want pizza. Holy shit. Nothing's open around here, though. We got, we, I, got a, I got a Domino's <laughs> literally across the street from us. Every time I go out the door, I either smell the the grease from the chicken from the Chinese joint across the street, or I smell Domino's. I'm like, so, so every Could time be I worse. Wait a second. Could be worse. This close to you, J-Bone? Oh, literally across the street, yeah. That's so dream. it's like the Seinfeld episode with the Kenny Rogers roaster. <laughs> yeah. I'm not familiar with that, the but I'm just chicken light. <laughs> oh, that when we used to do these, that that that's worth a watch along, J with the Discord Patreon crew. Agreed. Uh, yeah. Uh, a little but, Seinfeld best of with the uh come on. We we, we got some we got some variety around here. We got a we got a Chinese, a really good Chinese place. Uh, we got Domino's. We got cousins next door to the Chinese place. We got another pizza place that's right across the street from us. That's more like uh, it's not a franchise place. It's like local, okay. and we we check like them local. out. Mom and pop shops. Yeah, yeah, it's mom local. And pop shop. Yeah, support Bell's. local businesses. Oh, yeah, Bell's Boy again. Do. With the super sticker, J Boom, Bill, and Justin in Chicago. We won video of y'all going to a Mexican restaurant part three. Or I don't think should I say part trace? <laughs> he got get, he got mugged last time he was at the Mexican restaurant. Why would he? I'm gonna get my chips back. <laughs> <laughs> well. We could uh -oh, I'm never gonna we, financially recover from this. We need some video footage. <laughs> video footage. Oh, after we dark. Will. Ooh, we will. Can we, we go we, live? We might be able to uh, live we, after dark. Stream it. We, we might have to. Um, we might have to get uh, a ref. I might have to get get some backup. You get you a, backup, a certain J friend of the show. You know. Uh, certain um, sp uh, Spencer Critical Sting just letting us know there was a wrestling program that concluded an hour ago. Thank you for that. Uh, Critical, Critical Sting. Sting, thank you. Less than 19 minutes. Less than 19 minutes. And I've only been here for 18 of them. I <laughs> have got stuff to do <laughs> in between sitting for two hours for a show and this. We got to talk the, about food. Justin says, <laughs> Justin <laughs> says he can do security. I, I trust you, Justin. Thank you. Let's make, make sure you leave your wife at the hotel room. I don't want her getting hurt, you know, because this is going to get crazy. You know, if we go back to the same place, man, let me tell you, I ain't, I ain't messing around. I'm, I'm getting my chips. I am keeping my chips. <laughs> I can't, I can't, say I can't believe <laughs> T. Hughes looking for some inside information. He doesn't come to the Iceman, J. Bone. He comes to TNI for the inside info. Damn, but sadly, I don't got any. Uh, I, I all I can say is haven't done that. Part. All I can say is this: uh, he's, he's asking if uh, where the tapings, any indication uh, for November and December, none from Impact. However, if we look at what they've done the last few years, it seems like Florida. Has been December. There you go. So, I, I that that would be I don't know where, but I would say that's a possibility. Florida, uh, November, that could be anywhere. Honestly, no clue on November. I'm sad that I'm gonna miss the Philly show. Oh no, multiverse. Well, I, yeah, I gotta work. I'm pretty sure I gotta work. If I don't, then I'm definitely gonna try and get in on that. Let's but... boo the man. At least get at least Alicia get a work. bleach. Hey, if anything, maybe make I'm the it, only employee. <laughs> make it a make it a make it a family thing. Take some of the kids with. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Kids. Well, two of them will be away at college, 
<laughs> and the one I can't, I can't, I know that's just, oh. he, he doesn't need to go to a wrestling show. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a thought, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Best wishes. All right. <laughs> um, Any more news, J-Bone? Yes. We didn't even, we didn't even play the song, J-Bone. This was like you, a loosey-goosey news segment. Or do you I never usually, actually say any news yet? I, we're winging it. We're, we're winging it. We're just kind of BSing through. We're just Structure? Kind of what's that? This show? Ha! This, this show? <laughs> yeah. Never. Never. Jesus. Structure? That's never. for professionals. Never. Who booked this? Thank you. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Who booked this? I don't know. People watch it, so it's got to be all right. Okay. It's tolerable. So you know what, J-Bone? We got a couple of views. You got news, J-Bone? Yeah, I actually do. All right. Really? On, all right, all right then we're going to play the song. Play, play the song. song. Play the song. Too many Christmas. And now. 22 minutes into the podcast, J Boat News. News. Searching for my fake wrestling news. Uh. All right. This one I'm going to have to do a little share screen, Rooney, because there's no other way to do this. Um,. So, you know, we're, we're all on this Team Canada <laughs> hype lately. So, uh, pretty, pretty exciting stuff, right? Well, sadly, a former member of Team Canada has kind of gone down a different path. Oh. Um, as soon as I said that, everything should be kicking in now as far as yeah, so uh, here's oh, look at that booking image. Oh, who is that? Oh, yeah, Teddy Hart arrested again. The original captain, <sighs> uh, yeah. TMZ is reporting Teddy Hart is arrested last week after he was allegedly uh, in possession of ecstasy and steroids. Wow, mm. I haven't heard that before. According to Titusville Police Department records, Hart was pulled over on July 15th, around midnight. Hart was pulled over after he ran a red light and was seen speeding in a 22, uh, 2022 Ford Mustang. Lovely. Uh, smelled an overbearing odor of burnt marijuana. Um, I thought it was going to be cat pee. Well, that, well there's, that was probably to try to cover up the cat pee. Yeah. Look at him. Um, he looks like cat pee. He, this, look, look at this. <laughs> that, 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 would you... Would you buy just look that's, at this face? That's a poster child for don't do drugs, kids. Would you would you buy a cat from this individual? I wouldn't buy anything. You, you know what's what well, you know what's it's sad. a trap. For the <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a for, trap. <laughs> for those of you that know me, know how long I've been podcasting, you know I used to cover a little company called MLW. Now, I'm still curious as to what goes on there. I just don't watch it much. I usually, my info leaks are... They're pretty through. much based in Philadelphia now, j -Bone. Pretty much, yeah. They'll do tapings there and whatnot. Um, but when they came to town, let me tell you, he was one of my favorites in wrestling at the time, and I got to meet the whole Hart family that weekend, and that was, a, that was oh, one that of was the, the renaissance. He summer. had the career renaissance a couple of years ago. Like he, he really was did, Mister Indies and MLW and all that, and and that was before everything went absolutely bonkers, you know. So, um, but yeah, I, I just I, I didn't really have anything else. I just figured we'd you know talk about cat pee in the car and read a little bit of this article. I'm not really gonna read any more of this because it's about pills and whatever. So and like I don't, Oreo's very upset. She was. You know, she she liked Teddy Hart too. She she's you listen to her. She's very broken up about this. So, 
So, um, but yeah, Team Canada kind of lost the member officially, I guess you could say. A more got, positive Team Canada news, J Bone. I got, know Eric you Young. <laughs> well, Eric Young's been uh, doing the interview circuit. Uh, oh, yeah. I believe he spoke with Fightful. And let's just once again say all the dirt sheets that said he was not available. He, it was not going to be returning anytime soon. Then the minute after he actually appeared. Oops. He requested his contract be terminated three months ago and all this. But, uh, but no, he went into the whole thing that obviously he, he came in with an idea when he went in to obviously go back to WWE. Yeah. That didn't happen. Things change. He gave up the money. He gave up the opportunity to come back home, which is always great to hear. Oh, Cause yeah. he, he's a, he's a TNA impact lifer. The, the guy's the guy's a TNA legend. He's done so. I mean, you name it, he's done it in this company. From being world champ down to slinging chicken with a crazy ass wife, you know, ODV. You know, so the guy's done it all. I forgot they were married in storyline. Yeah, in their undies. <laughs> in their undies. Yeah. In wow, the- what a wild time. But she, ODB is actually married now in real life. She just got married, yeah. Yes, to congrats, her. ODB. Yeah, she's she's got a she's got a food truck partner for life. That's cool. Bam! I want to try. I want to try their food so bad. I had dream. It. Yeah, lucky. Lucky you. Lucky you. I'm so jealous. Did you get the the Sunday, the barbecue Sunday? Yes. Damn. Oh, that's what I want so bad. Barbecue. I just gotta. I gotta order the sauce. It's also. like a. It's like meat in a cup, Javo. <laughs> yeah, it's like an. It's like a Sunday, except it's all the stuff you would find in a barbecue. So it's like the meat and the beans and the what oh, like, so coleslaw minus- and potato probably yeah. it's like everything you put in like a sandwich without the sandwich so it's like a, a naked burrito to a burrito yeah. a burrito bowl yeah <laughs> but a cup yeah it's a bowl but it's in a cup <laughs> it's, it's it's a bowl of meat <laughs> we always bring it back to food but we're a very hungry bud at this impact review i'm gonna go get me some uh, that's that's that's, that's, that's the whole happen. thing it's 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 food, it's wrestling, <laughs> it's fun. It's everything. Hey, it's a vibe here. We may be a review show, but we kind of think you guys like us enough to come here and just listen to us ramble. Yeah, like I, I'll tell you, I was <laughs> I, I was on two nine hour car rides, two nine hour plus car rides in the span of a few days. So I had some time to think, Jabo, and oh, I was thinking, I, 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 I've always, I keep talking about it. I, I, it's going to come to a point where the TNI AM show is going to happen. And Ooh. we can talk some wrestling, but that's not going to be the primary thing. We're going to we're gonna talk about everything. I, I was at the movies, J-Bone, today. I was at the movies after work. I snuck in a little, little opening release night of what I'm calling the movie of the year, J-Bone. Ooh. And on this other show, we could be talking about that in length. And it didn't and even Barbie. have Tom Hanks. I didn't see Barbie yet. Oh, and I, I want to see. The, I want to see the Barbie movie so bad. I will see the Barbie movie, but that is not what I saw. I saw Oppenheimer, the new Christopher Nolan. They're movie. showing it. Becky's driving. Oh, there you go. Are Double they doing feature. the Barbenheimer? As Barbenheimer, the they're doing the Barbenheimer. Yeah. <laughs> Except, oh, there you go. I think it's Oppenheim- Oppenheimer or whatever the fuck it's called in another movie on one screen and then Barbie oh, okay. in another movie on the other. So Okay, so they're going head to head. Yeah. Barbenheimer. It depends what you're in the mood for. <laughs> Obviously, one's got a lot more serious subject matter versus... Barbie the other, all the way. I'm here. I'm the targeted the demographic. One. There's yeah. the serious Although, Very good reviews for both. Drama of a Hollywood blonde and her man and life where everything's freaking pink. 
And then he got Oppenheimer. <laughs> I feel like the Barbie movie is going to be so much deeper than that. That's what I'm hearing. It is so. Uh, I, I will. Very... I'm sure by the end of the weekend. Well, I don't know. I got a busy weekend. By early next week, by next week's review, I will have seen both. So maybe I'll go Sunday. I I might wait till it you know hits the cock. Yeah. Oh. Settle down, Jay. Out of context. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, I'm gonna try and see it Sunday because me and Stefan are going on a party bus, a Yankees party bus to a Yankees game. I have no idea what this means. I'll tell you, there will means. be alcohol, it means a lot of <laughs> means you better wear some Yankees gear, otherwise, you might get tossed out the back of the bus. I don't have any. Well, you, better at least, you better at least put a big NY on your forehead, you know. I'm good. I'm, like, Hi. I'm sure I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it when the conversation gets so out of whack and someone like Justin Miller in the chat says, say what? Say what? what? Hey. Yep. Anyway, so are we still doing news or I got a little off track, I guess. Oh, I thought you were going to add uh, a big story. Breaking news. Oh, <laughs> oh um, I quit smoking. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> but it's about me. It's nothing else. So, hey. And we're still alive. So, breaking news. <laughs> That's breaking. I like it. The cat's still meowing, too. She hasn't. Yeah, yeah. If if uh, if Alicia's gonna like you know kill any of us, well, it's gonna be the, the cat. Jaybo, let, well, let's end the news with this. Okay. Just because it was a big story over the last week, there is an impact connection at one point. Uh, but I know a lot of people. Well, this is a sensitive story as well. Uh, there was. If, if anybody remembers what happened at WrestleCon in L.A. Oh, yeah, I was going to bring Giselle. that up, but I was like, eh, should I bring it up or should I? Yeah, yeah no, no, I, I, th I think it, it should be brought up because this is a wrestling podcast. These yeah. are the big things happening in wrestling. Uh, but it's true. there was comments made by Rick Steiner. Oh, that horrible was, comments, yeah. Yeah, and he was banned from WrestleCon. Future events was the wording back then. Yeah. Then all of a sudden... Had to be like near the end of last week, like almost right after our show. I mean, it might have been the next day or Saturday. It was announced that Scott and we hey, we're all big Scott Steiner fans here, yeah. Along with Rick as the Steiner brothers, we're going to be at this the Michigan WrestleCon coming up in I guess September. Oh, and obviously the internet went nuts over this for, yeah, for good yeah. reason. Uh, I'm not going to say there were. There were other people that were very much in favor of this for whatever reasons that they had. I, uh, I saw that. It was, it was, but it, it, did not but it was still well. predominantly like, what are you doing, WrestleCon? And then WrestleCon came up with a whole thing that he, it was a real weird, like, let's just say sometimes the people that run things shouldn't be their own PR people. This guy didn't know what he was doing. Uh, right. His reasoning for this was so out of whack. It's like, he apologized to us, even though like Giselle chose not to hear it, and that's okay by them. And it was it was a weird thing about like don't cancel people. It, it was it was horrible. So then Every they got roasted by. It. I think everybody then went, that's horrible. The reasoning here, and yeah. then like another day or two later, because they talked to other people, they're like, okay, now we're once again banning him. <laughs> so it was a whole big. They Crazy couldn't guys. handle the heat. They they could they not, just so. respectively got out of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So, but once again, that would have been you banned them from what the last day of the convention last time? That that would have been the the whole thing. Yeah. Uh so it, just just once again, it, not one of the great stories in wrestling, but once again affecting some stuff because I know this was a hot topic up at Slammiversary and the tapings because there were a bunch of people that have attended WrestleCon and they were like, out, see ya. And, and, and this could affect things like Impact's been working WrestleCon the last couple yeah. of years. Right. And you want to... Are they going to still work with a company <laughs> like that? That's the reality they got to face. Yeah. Yeah. And if, it's, and if... It's one thing. 
to have your beliefs, but to let someone be so vocal about them in a place where it should be an all inclusive situation. You think it's the well, that was another it's thing. They're like, we had it's no hustle. code of conduct. That was one of the well, you should. on this. We had no code of conduct, so we didn't Co violate anything. How about they tried how about to do a, that argument? Oh my god! How about goodness. a code of common sense? Yeah, like it's it it was it was just like it was slow motion car wreck. What like what seeing these comments come out? So yeah. uh, now they're kind of back to square one, but uh, we'll see what happens going forward. But uh, definitely, it could have some effects on impact on what they're doing possibly uh mania week in philly next year so you know how many uh, companies could pull out of wrestlecon and just throw effectively their own shit and boom well would be i more think probably successful so i think there were probably people from these promotions while this was going on getting the ear of uh the higher ups there because WrestleCon is also high spots and I'm sure they were talking and being like, guys, you gotta, you gotta address this because if not, don't expect us to work with you. I got to imagine now that that's where the pressure goes. And that's the sad thing. It was all about money from the invite to the disinvite. It was all money driven, everything about this. And that's why it was just a bad look. Yeah. It's a the money seems to be the root to a lot of issues. Lately. So it makes the world go around. It's Apparently. Well, anyway. So so then, okay, the finality of that story is that he was banned, unbanned, and banned again. Yes. All right. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Try not to be so hostile next time. Just mind your fucking business. Right. Just go there, do your own business. Believe what you want to believe. Just keep it to your fucking self. Like right. whatever. Oh, I think like, that's the thing. It's yeah, that that's the whole thing. Like, like, like even that, if you, you don't like if you're in some kind of opinion that's uh, maybe not publicly, like just don't don't put it out. Have some man. fucking couth. Yeah. Like what what kind of senile fuck just randomly starts spouting shit well, off that, to that, a stranger? That's a whole nother thing. It's just, that's the world we issue? are in now. Yeah. Where people are like, people want to know my opinion about everything. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Because they really want to know your opinion about media, So everybody's so validated in their fucking opinions. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're all nobodies. Boom. All all nobodies with asshole opinions and and uh, yeah, just don't be dicks to people. Mind your, mind your fucking business, and you won't get kicked out of WrestleCon. Yeah, just get over be, yourself. It it takes uh, it it doesn't take much to just be nice. Yeah, and if, and if all you do is share a smile with someone, no, or no. don't say boo shit to anyone, just mind your fucking business. That's right. as nice as you need to be. Just like, hey, and, that, and that's you don't gotta smile, you don't gotta wave and hunky dory. Just no, mind no, your fucking just, business. No, I was trying to like show both. Like everybody, yeah. like you could you could smile at someone to be nice, or not say boo shit to anyone. Yeah. Hey, yeah. go 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 to an impact show. Yeah. Go up to beautiful Windsor, Ontario. The welcoming fans up north, the people, the sights, the sounds, the smells. How are the people up there? Ah, the, the people are great up there. Yeah. They welcome everybody. Nice. That's what wrestling's about. There you go. Well, let's get to the show. All right. <laughs> There was uh oh yeah, there was Impact Wrestling tonight. So yes, we are covering oh. <laughs> yes, critical <laughs> thirty two minutes and the fallout from Slammiversary, which literally turned the company upside down. Uh, you know, along with uh, the the little news that came out of it of the you could uh, say they pulled a Canadian destroyer on the company. What? <clears throat> That's one way to put it. <clears throat> so, all right. Covering Iceman Intel. Hang on a second. Excuse me. Nay. Drinky, drinky. All right. So, Iceman Intel, he is working on uh, a big story. And he is on location. Now, How big? 
Is it? Uh, it's it's big. <laughs> it's big. He couldn't even be on the main land. He was like on a pier surrounded by boats and water and ducks. And that really freaked my cat out. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat is always freaked out. You gotta. This is true. Yeah, go I get her fixed, J Bone. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna cost Bob Barker of dollars now. He wasn't wrong. <laughs> Kid show kitties fixed. Um, I need to find my cat some cat dope. That'd be a lot cheaper. But anyways, um, so yeah, he's working on a big story. Um. He is on location. That's really all he said. Well, J Bone, I, I, I got to put over the Iceman, J Bone. Okay. Because uh, I did run into the Iceman uh, up in Windsor. Uh, he was a big behind the scenes factor at the at the shows. Get, like doing a lot of the stuff, getting people around, like like get, get in the uh, different people working the show, like in line to, to, to do everything. Oh, so nice. he had like he was he was he was he was making that a, a machine. It was humming. It was humming, J Bun. Oh everything was smooth. So good job by the, the ice man. So would you call him a smooth operator? Oh, I would call him a smooth operator, J. <laughs> Doesn't get smoother than the ice man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing the song, but it's going through my head right now, and it's really like pulling teeth to that, just you know, at least hum it. All right, uh, BTI match of the week: Alan Angels versus Crazy Steve. Alan Angels, it's a match. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. And uh, you know, Alan Angels got his face bit off for his trouble, but he did get the win here over Crazy Steve. Uh, but then. Uh, also, for his troubles, he uh, he uh, got his ass clobbered. Uh, Alan Angels, that is, got his ass clobbered out of nowhere by a uh, Heath. So uh, that was pretty cool. He got Heath out of Doesn't nowhere. Doesn't get better than than, than Heath. Yeah, doing the little little wake up call out of nowhere. Everyone likes a little Heath out of nowhere. Uh, oh, baby! Absolutely. Yeah. Still one of the most over acts in the company. <laughs> Bonus baby. J Bone busting out the Sade reference. <laughs> there you go. And there's Oreo trying horribly to sing it on tune in the background. Oh, Jiminy you know Christmas. what, J Bone? And there is a little bit of news just because I'm I saw Diener mentioned here by Gary. Um but it does remind me that we did hear this news, uh, both that Diener has a podcast now. So definitely check out Diener. And I think believe his first guest is Josh Alexander, Walk of the Weapon. But also our former champion and the returning Josh Alexander, now head trainer at the BCW Dojo, the Border City Wrestling Dojo. Which oh, is, I did hear school. about that. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So, always good to see. Congrats that. to him. The roster, and that's what you call adding. paying it forward. Yes, it's what you call paying it forward. Um. All right, so that takes care of BTI. The main show now kicking off with Scott Demore in the ring. Scott Demore getting a lot of love from the Windsor crowd. Announces that uh, he is going to be president again. And then he is just so rudely interrupted by some of our favorites, the good hands. Ozzy, you like the good hands? He's he's looking at his chops. I think he's just confused. Um. Don't don't worry, J Bone. Eventually, Hotch will Janetti, John Schuyler, and all will be right with the world. Hands off! 
tell you what. I'll that, just say the fucking name. That'll be a red letter night if that happens, man. Because I tell you, I I really like. I mean, I like both guys, but Hotch is the future of the company. He's good. That's a good seat, man. Just mark my words. Oh, mark this is good words. though. See, I can I can see him from a mile away. This and this and I'm. Gonna, hey, but I told you in his debut match, Jason Hodge was going to be a a big time player. I'm going to prove it to you right now. I saw someone six years ago in 2017, and a little little uh li- little streaming service called what was that called again? Oh, oh Flow yeah. Slam. Oh, Flow Slam. That's right. And that guy had uh, a really goofy valet at the time, but they were perfect for each other. And then they kind of like went their separate ways. But that kid was scrawny. He had long hair, but there was something about him. There was something about him. And right now he is the United States WWE champion in the WWE. Austin Theory. There's another the bone, the, guy. The bone can see it a mile away. I'm telling you. Man. So six years from now, <laughs> J-Bo might be right on somebody. <laughs> Hotch is going to be world champ in some company. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, gut so check. The, the good, the good hands are giving it to Scott. Scott gives it right back to him. Says, "You know what? You guys are all. Uh, you guys are feisty. You're in your gear." Uh, you, you ain't gonna take on me, but you can take on these guys, and out comes O V E. So they can deal with uh, a little bit of Swan and a little bit of Callahan for their troubles. What'd you guys think of this uh, this opening tag match? I like the transition from Scott being in the ring to the good hands coming down, and then O V them starting up a match. It just kind of flowed really well. It was fun. Yeah. It's different. I like that. They, I Maybe, but a while ago I suggested that they had to switch up their segments and maybe not be so repetitive. And they've just been delivering, I feel like, every week from just switching it up from the matches to doing in-ring promos to, like, it's just, it's been fun. It's been a good ride. Right. Yeah. And this this is, is a great match. Oh. Yeah, this show, like if anyone that attended the taping or has been attending Impact tapings, like you'll notice a lot of it, it's not really in order. Like a lot of it is edited to kind of make the flow go quick, not be too repetitive. Right. And I think that's kind of what you get. Uh, so the, a lot of people behind the scenes uh, doing very good work on putting the actual show together. Because obviously you can go, you can see good matches, you can see good in-ring promos, but the backstage, how it's put together, that's a whole nother part. That's that's what makes a TV product. Yeah. So OVE gets the win here. Uh, it's just, you know, it's nice. It, it was a nice uh, period to the opening segment. You know, Scott and they needed a win. Because they yes. haven't won lately, the OVE, Rich, and we, we were just talking about that. Yeah, uh, yeah you're like right. they they had a couple couple losses in a row. So them getting the win here, good. They needed mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Good sign. Agreed. Yeah, because yeah, for a second, obviously during this, it's like, is Scott gonna go again? He just did slam anniversary. No way, the <laughs> coach. But then when he He's was doing tired. like when when he throws the, the watch and stuff, he has a vigor. He has a vigor in him. It was those a half-hearted with watch the suit, throw. Bro. Yeah, it was a half-hearted watch throw. So he wasn't really invested in, in wrestling himself. Oh, he's was bluffing? Like, Is that Scott Demore's <laughs> version of a bluff? I was, yeah. yeah he was like, still, yeah, the way he ain't he worth my time. Watch. He ain't worth my time, yeah. good hands. I was a little worried about him. I'm like, man, you just came off of a hell of a tag match at Slammiversary. You sure you want to? I thought this was going to be a two-on-one, but. Um, uh, I love bonus baby right here. He's a little worried about the bone man. He said the WWE United States champion in WWE sure it's just water there, bone man. I swear to God, it's just it's just 
berry flavored water. That's all it is. Because, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to throw a little genius behind that. And you're going to go, oh, oh, I didn't see that coming. See, there's another genius in the wrestling business, just like myself, that is also bald, just like myself. You'd almost think it was like another, you know, cousin or something. And mm -hmm. Alicia's just like on the edge of her seat now. She's like, what the hell is this? I'm tuned in. <laughs> Christopher Daniels used to introduce himself and said tag team partner at the time, which is probably Kaz, as the world tag team champions of the world. Of the world. <laughs> I rest my case. Continue. All right. There you go, j -Bone. Good job. It's a good job. Good job. Okay. So maybe it's not my cousin or whatever. Uh, so next, we get, <laughs> we get the... Oh, uh, Bullet Club, the ABC. Here we go. That's a little better, a little easier to say. Rolls off the old tongue there. Uh, the ABC promo, and they're talking about getting those titles back. And uh, well, they get interrupted, of course, by the rascals. Well, Scott decides to uh, tell abc is like look you guys got a match tonight you go focus on that as for you rascals you guys can go pack your bags and take a hike i ain't dealing with you see I'm really hit the bricks. yeah hit the bricks kids that's right so he's uh you know he's getting back into the swing of things being pres again he's like hey i uh kind of like this shit you know just kicking people out here and there i, I can do this again so Kicks them out, and then uh, here comes Swinger and Dice. You guys swing? Exactly. You know, Scott's, <laughs> Scott's like, you know, I got about an ounce of patience left. What do you want, Swinger? And um, Swinger's talking, and he's like, look, you know, maybe this whole, you know, 50 and 1 stuff was a little uh advantageous uh how about uh how about you win one match how about you win one match swinger and i'll give you a title shot <laughs> the swinger's like yeah he's like but if you lose you're out of here like a loser leaves town you know and uh it's like oh shit <laughs> this case is, this got serious so then, uh, but then uh, the discussion you know, <laughs> takes a turn as in uh, <laughs> loser, <laughs> Gary Rossetti, loser becomes suicide next week. Oh, that called what it. a K. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Um, but yeah, so finds out that he's actually has to wrestle his protege, Dice. And uh, good old Ziggy Dice. Um, so they're going to wrestle next week. End of an era. Yeah. <laughs> and I am saying, even though it hasn't been an era, feels like it has been. And I think it's time we love Swinger and Ziggy and whatever their their thing has the been. But the dungeon. <laughs> I'm over the sex dungeon. The dungeon <laughs> never says die. I'm over the, the casino. I'm over the Alice? the pills and rizats. Pills and rizats. <sighs> oh, we love pills and rizats. <laughs> I'll gladly take the stones you want to throw over this. Uh, I am okay with comfortably being an asshole about things. Uh, I and think I, think I, Boy will agree I believe that I want my pizzles back. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's boned its last rat, so so to speak. I, I hear you. And it's 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 with all love and peace and respect. It's time to move on. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love and hair grease. All right. But I will. <laughs> I will go love. to the to the mattresses, J Bell, for the swing man. I hear you. <laughs> the swing man, the digital media <laughs> champion. Who says no? I hear Bobby Fish mentioned here. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? 
What's he there doing? Oh, no, you know what? Don't even answer that because I'm sure it's Dustin not much. Miller with the super stiff sticker. Don't disrespect the goat. I I'll eat. do what I want. Thank you. She's, uh, you know, she's not she's... disrespecting the game. <laughs> they, they only have it's... me on the show because someone's got to be a cunt. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> see you next Tuesday. And it's not always a see you next Tuesday. Uh, no, you see, look, it's if it's not her cup of tea, it's not her cup of tea, and that's all. Okay. I, I don't okay. kiss ass. She can she can be the wrong one of the bunch. It's okay. It's, I can know. be wrong. <laughs> I'll just sit here in my wrongness, being wrong, and live comfortably okay with being wrong. Well, speaking of another legend, Jayba, you could just like sit on your swinging. wrong island there. <laughs> I did notice. Another company used a legend, a TNA legend, uh, to promote a certain week for the Sharks. I can turn it on anytime, Pat. Come on, no problem. Yes, yes, I did see that. Yeah, there was some. Uh... <laughs> There was some promotional material and uh, the classic TNA Shark Boy was uh, was used. See you next Thursday. There you go. For, uh, That's a good sign meat. off. You heard me. See you next there Thursday. You See you next Thursday. <laughs> oh, shell. Yeah, there's there's Zach Bonifer holding up the Twitch. How's that good Twitch bitch. going, Zach? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, what's rush. next here? Is that Gary saying you're a bad child? <laughs> I'm going to get fired. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alexa, you got some splaining to do. The, the bad child of TNI, yeah. Are those sharks dancing? That's amazing. <laughs> here. I don't know if they'll show up, but look at that. They're, they're, they're teeny. They're it's teeny, a masterpiece. But, yeah, it looks like uh, there's the it looks like the Rockettes. Only all they all got shark outfits on. That's now, great. what's more of a masterpiece, that or the original masterpiece? That oh, one kind of freaks. Pasta Mania. It's a good idea in theory, but the delivery is unsettling. It does that. He has no neck. It does is. not make me want to eat pasta. <laughs> yeah, I had a hankering. A hankering for some pasta. Like you eat a big old bowl of pasta mania, and pretty soon you ain't got no neck. <laughs> well, speaking of pasta, Jay, because <laughs> it's true. been a few minutes since we talked about food. Well, actually, no minutes. We were just talking about pasta. Uh -oh. But I did five when I when I go up when I go up to Canada, I make sure to come back with a little pasta. Oh. Do they let you do that? Where do you get the pasta oh, from? He he has well, his ways. Well, well, I go, I go to, to the I, I go to a local <laughs> store and I get craft dinner and bring it back. Like mac and cheese. That's right. But what's craft dinner? The Not mac and cheese. What's the difference? Yeah, it tastes slightly different. It does taste slightly different, but oh, it's made the same different. way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same way. Same way. They have much different varieties as well. Like, they have a poutine version, but I, I get this to the standard. But uh, it's a whole nother world up there. Oh. Do you know what? That totally makes you gotta sense. You got to get the ketchup potato chips and uh, the crab uh, dinner. Oh, yeah. I tried the ketchup Doritos. I did, too. Uh, I've had ke my stuff and loves ketchup chips and uh, well, nope. And the thing is, it. I'm not a huge ketchup fan, but I do love the ketchup chips. But I'm not yeah. really a big chip guy. But the ketchup chips are different. I like them. Yeah, they, they got some tang to them. Yeah. They're, they're very tangy. I, I love tang. It. I'm a big tang fan. Tang is good. I, I fuck with some tang. That's what astronauts drink. That's Damn, right different. <laughs> I, I too go to space, <laughs> so 
I wow. like the steak in the tank. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I think I'm I, think just, I feel like we just changed subjects That's there. That's rascals. All right. Which uh, right. Jacob, yeah, no. I believe I'm Blacksmith cooler. is going to be cooler. making a rascals gear. I saw something in the last day or so. No, uh, yeah, Blacksmith making a rascals. He is doing so well with all those shirts he's been coming out with. I really like the killing. Billy Starks one he came out with. Speaking of space, that's our game. It's fucking cool. There you go. All right, back to good this. for him. We got Gia Miller. Make sure I'm in the right place here. Okay, yeah, we got Gia Miller <laughs> with Eric Young. And uh talking about uh he's like, Yeah, you know what? I was I was really happy with uh what I did with uh you know good old coach Scott Demore. And he's like, you know, we might have been you know rivals before, but um we're always family here, you know. And uh, he's like, but you know what? I, I really don't know what my next move is. And uh, I, I think uh, he's, he's going to like basically do what Josh did tonight. He's probably going to jump on a mic soon and and talk to the audience and uh, reveal his next, uh, next chapter of Eric Young. But then he gets so, uh, you know, lovingly interrupted by a good old Nick Aldis. Um, and uh looks like they've got some uh stuff to chew right. on and uh they're gonna face each other next week and a poutine on a stick match sorry all this poutine I like that. talk i think someone said it wait well i was talking about poutine disco else. fries yeah Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. You know what though? This is breaking news, J Bone. Uh -oh. When I was up in Canada, this trip. Oh boy. First trip I've ever gone to Canada and not had poutine. And not had it. I had I, I I'm suffering from a severe lack of poutine. Yeah, dude. I'm surprised the earth hasn't been thrown off its axis. That's like world ending right there. You didn't you went to Canada and didn't eat poutine? Did your did, did your Canadian flag just like ball itself up and just start literally walking away from you by <laughs> did, itself? Did, like did your team Canada jacket <laughs> slow walk out of the apartment to piano hey. music? It, it, was, it, was, it did not happen. It did not happen for me. Because uh, I kept it very simple. Because I was actually because of the the travel and pretty much expecting to almost have time to take a shower when I got into Canada and go right to the show. I had a, a Wawa Hoagie Fest Hoagie still for dinner. That's what I ate after we did the review. Like I, I had a turkey hoagie just waiting for me for when I got back. So uh, I didn't get anything like to eat the first day. And then the second day, I just, I, I there wasn't that opportunity for the poutine. And then I left right after the show. Yeah. The night. So that, it was just a, a short window. And poutine did not fit in. Poutine does from. not fit it in. So, so basically, the next time you take a trip up there, when you hit the border, they're going to look at you like. The trombone. This, I had Tim Hortons for the first time this weekend because I was in Syracuse, New York, which is closer to Canada. Yes. <laughs> not well, you can even get Tim Hortons in Allentown. Can you? I never go to Allentown though, so that would explain it. So you're but not I'll keep it in mind. A Billy Joel of the area, huh? Yeah, no. Is that? But you might know the Iron Pig Stadium. Iron Pigs game. That's an I know where that is. <laughs> There's one downtown at the PPL Center. Okay. Is like, that? But cousin? you can get to it without going to an event. Is that cousin to Horton? Here's a who. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Um, but it was good. It was good coffee. I needed it for the drive home from oh, from they New do York. Make a good coffee. And Timbits. And Timbits. But it hold was on, a I really gotta, good large co iced coffee. Mocha. I, I got to shout out uh, one of our loyal T&I fan members here. 
Aaron Jack. Got some great news earlier today that I'm going to be a dad for the first time. I'm so excited. Also, my girlfriend loves you guys. She's a fan of Alicia. Woohoo! Congrats, right. Aaron. Congrats on that, baby. Congrats, Aaron Jack. Much love. Maybe a future member of the TNI fam. You never know. <laughs> there you go. You'll have to pry this position out of my cold, dead hands. Well, no, I mean, uh, someone that might listen or watch one day. I'm never leaving. You know, you know the kids love TNI. I'm kidding. All the food talk, the loud noises, J-Bones, booming voice. Wait, we got the Riz. Isn't that what the kids say, the Riz? The Riz? Well, we went wait, over this wait. a few episodes back. Maybe uh, don't. Carnival Sting, I might need you again. Where we were talking all these terms, the, the youth. The two Utes are using. Oh, okay. So Mrs. J Bone is actually a little more hip than I am. She just informed me from across the room that the Riz is the Mrs. Brother. Okay. Oh, twin brother? <laughs> okay. Oh. I wasn't far off. It was yeah, like charm. Go. Well, I, I'm with Justin <laughs> Miller here. That, that's when I hear Riz, <laughs> I think put it on the Riz. I like Ritz crackers. See, when I hear putting on the Ritz, I think of Ritz crackers. And then and I want what? some crackers and cheese. When you say Ritz crackers, I think regarding Henry, I think Harrison Ford. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ritz. Didn't he just come out with an Indiana Jones movie? He did. Crazy. And he was in it, right? Oh, yeah. Eight year old. <sighs> He, he see they see CG, they CGI'd the hell out of him. He is sexy. Well, to make him look young. Yeah. So he looks better than he did. <laughs> yeah. He's they not basically, he looks man. like he looks like Temple of Doom in the Jones for part of the movie. <laughs> just you know, tan, <sighs> tan chest, just glistening. Ooh, critical sting. He's keeping us on the level. I'm afraid Riz is not that. Oh, God. Rats. Ah. Was that bad? Oh, well. <laughs> there goes well, our street cred. We could be cool and relevant, but I was wrong. <laughs> We're doing a wrestling podcast. That We're went old here. a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, we might want to move on with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're almost halfway. What are we done. about a match or a segment in right now? What Here we no, go. We're almost halfway done. We haven't even got to the second match. Here we go. We got third. Well, third if you count BTI. Um, all right. So one of my favorite <laughs> parts of the show here, uh, the return to Impact Wrestling Television, Jake, everybody. Something. something. Oh, say his name. No, something. not that guy. Jake something. <laughs> not it's say cool, his though. name and he appears. That we, we didn't get that tonight, so that's good. That's we got a break. Stop that, Bill. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got Jake something versus Kevin Knight. Um, absolutely a banger of a match. You get the high flying skills of Kevin Knight with all the crazy counter stuff that uh, Jake something could do. He's pretty athletic for a big guy, you know, just throwing himself it was just yes. back and forth. It was great. It was great. What do you guys think of uh, Jake versus Kevin? Well, when I refer to my notes, <laughs> it says this is a different Jake we're getting this time around, and man, I'm impressed. Ooh. Knight is pretty awesome, too. Uh, I'm still getting familiarized with him, so uh, so far, so good. Um, this was a unique pairing, but they told a perfect David and Goliath story, I personally thought. Oh yeah. yeah. Like there were so many times when I'm like, oh shit, they got the pin. Nope. One of them kicked out. And so it was, it was really well they you know, pretty impressive. Jake something's on a whole nother level this time around, I'm telling you. Got a new haircut. His his body's all cut up. Just man, he's in incredible shape. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say the one who said it the best, I noticed 
while the match was on, uh, Josh Alexander uh, posted on social media, like that's like two future world champions mm-hmm. in that match. Yeah. So that, that's about as high regard as you can get. The guy that was the face of the company for so long until his injury. Yeah. Uh, giving you the, you could be the future champion here. Uh, credo. That's, that's pretty good. And, and Jake, I think obviously a lot of us here saw a lot of potential in Jake. Obviously, it was tough to to do the rape right from cousin Jake into the Jake something. Yeah. Like we talked about, like he had that little bit of a the whole we always talk about the destruction and then the build up, but there wasn't him now being gone for a bit and restarting as you're right, like even more like a, the comment. <laughs> it looks like Jake. Jake something beat up. Does Jake something beat up? <laughs> like, like that's that's a very apropos example because he just does. He seems like he has a meaner streak. He's he's just serious. He's just more, serious, yeah, more serious, much yeah. more serious. Just like the rats. I know they're heels now compared to when they were like a comedy act that first time, and they're it just so... is a more serious. Like there, there is some comedy to him, but they have that edge to him, and it seems like Jake has an edge to him. <sighs> Well, they're focused. Before they had no focus. It was they're goofy and they're gonna go get high in the treehouse, and that's it. And that's it. Now they're like, okay, yeah, they're still got their goofy side. He he, you know, they're gonna crack some jokes. They're gonna be, they're they're gonna be, like, what rascals really should be. You know, little they're almost like evil doing the clown. <laughs> well, yeah, there's but there's two of them. D- dink and doink, yeah, yeah, or dank, evil doink, so, the clown. So it's actually serious instead of dink and doink, we got the rascals. So it's dank number one and dank number two, right? Is that how it goes? Dank nugs, I did a marijuana joke. <laughs> Uh, so great match between Jake something and Kevin Knight. Uh, Jake takes him out with the into the void, which is basically the black hole slam. Black hole slam, yeah. Black hole slam. Like they should first, just first steal, moment, yeah. steal it, but that's cool. That he's got his own <laughs> name. Uh oh, we jamming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got Courtney Rush then. Now, if there was something in between here, I apologize. I missed it. But we got Courtney Rush then. I don't think so. Versus Savannah Evans. Um, Gosh, is- golly, I missed this match. No, I saw the uh, the intros, though, and I'm really happy that I got Shantaraj trending and where the people are actually using it now. <laughs> yeah, I started on. that. That's me. I take full credit. If you don't believe me, rewind a couple of shows. There you I go. made Shataraj happen. I I even tried the. I it's even the new the fetch. Ru- it is, but it actually <laughs> happened because not only have they, I heard them use it on the show today because I didn't watch Slammiversary because I was gone all weekend. Um, and I just haven't had the time, but I heard it on the show tonight. And then I've been watching um, re- other review podcasts uh, that covered it, and they're all calling it now. So, fuck you. <laughs> well, I think even, I don't know if it was for the Slammiversary card or something, they actually put in like Shawdaraj as like, uh-huh. like that was what they're listening he, to them as now. Hey, you're forward. welcome. <laughs> Are, are you sure you're the one that, or are you sure you didn't just like hear that and repeat it? Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, J Bone, because you have to counter me every fucking which way we go because you got to try and be funny. Yep, that's what happened. I heard it and suddenly took credit of something that I heard someone else do. Yep. Exactly. Oh, Jay. Well, that's that's because that's that's what I would do. Yeah. We're the same person, don't you know? You would do it, so everyone would, right? Everyone has to. <laughs> no, why would I use any cease and desist? I want it to trend. I I may take credit for it, but 
They can use it. I don't give a shit. There you go. They just, they we share just... ideas in these parts. Everyone wins. There you go. There you go. No, I'll give it to you. I just didn't know. Yeah. Said it. And I'll take it. Thank you. Cause it happened. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the ball buster. <laughs> You're to bust your balls. Oh, and don't forget, no hit that like button. <laughs> Bring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to wear your cup. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what does Kyle call me? The lady Satan of T&I? Yeah, you're welcome. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, Courtney Rush versus Savannah Evans. Uh, quick match. Any thoughts on this one? Oh, we saw the uh, Jody Threat abduct Jay Vidal. This is true. Get that was one of the funniest parts of it. Oh, so she took it. I saw the part later where she dropped him off, but what happened to him? And he, she dumped him on the floor later, and he's just shaking. <laughs> yeah, he's seen some shit, bro. I'm a little worried. He's, he what, is, did you, what happened to him? He is what you call shook <laughs> uh, traumatized Jeez. she she shooketh the hell out of him <laughs> yeah i don't know what uh jody did to jay but they're like get up jay get up jay and he's just like <laughs> it was hilarious um i know that's like down the line but damn that whole segment was funny as hell it was good. Uh, good uh good Trinity uh promo showing highlights from her win at Slammiversary. And then uh the Coven cuts a promo and uh they basically want their titles back. They don't care who they gotta go through to go get them. Why are they Valley Girls all of a sudden? I think they're making fun of other people. I don't know. If okay. That was really uh, we'll have to rem that remains to be seen, but I, I wasn't too cool with that. I'm gonna have to play it back. I'm not sure exactly what they were doing. The whole thing it was if they were like just mocking somebody, cool, but it it did I don't know, considering they're going after Masha and Kelly, it seems like it would be weird that they would go the Valley Girl route. It just seems so out of character when they've been doing fine with what they had going. Yeah, it was. I just feel strongly about the Valley Girl trope. I'm sorry. The mean girl, Valley Girl thing. Oh, okay. I got you. They're right. The mean girl. I should have been more clear. Sorry. It's no, just, no. Ugh. It's. What are we in high school? <laughs> We're all in our mid 20s to 30s. Let's grow up a little bit, okay? Yeah, except for. Guys like me who don't even know what the hell fetch is. Anyways. Um, You've seen Mean Girls Don't Lie. It's, your favorite <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely little film. Uh, then we get uh, we get an announcement that the crowd for Slammiversary was the largest crowd in four years. They didn't bust out any numbers, typically like another company would, but uh, I know some of... Uh, some of uh we don't need know. to talk about our size, Jay Ben. We're confident. I've never talked about my size. I've talked about you know what I use, you know, down there, but I've never talked about um I've never you know bragged about <laughs> proverbially I'm massive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so was that crowd. It, it was it was <laughs> Bill, you and, mentioned and, a few and, yeah, like I, I, me and a fellow uh, Discord member, Billy, uh, the two Bills were on location here figuring things out. Ah. And we did a, a rough count. Uh, and we came up with Slammiversary 1600 ish. Yeah. Uh, 16, 1650. And then not that much, uh, just a little less set up for the tapings. So. 14 ish probably for the tapings great great crowd because that was the thing is usually there's quite the uh drop off yeah no no there wasn't there were like there was right. a little bit but not much now and it's a sunday so obviously not a 
So, so you lost a little bit, but not nearly as much. So that's why those those fans came came out. They did in full force, and it was so good to see. I mean, I really, I mean, like halfway through the pay per view, I couldn't stop just like ogling at the crowd, like holy shit, this crowd, very lively. And they brought it at the tapings too, which was great. It was like all through the episode. It's it's like no, you don't have to adjust your uh, your volume. This is actually what a great crowd sounds like, folks. So, um, and there's been some few of them, but Windsor definitely did a great job. They brought it, so that was yeah, that was wonderful to see. If if they could just keep that going, man, just you know. Well, J-Bone, it's up to you because they'll be back in Chicago soon. So you got to oh, bring yeah. your, you got to be on your A game. Justin, I'm looking at you, brother. You better bring it. I'm, I'm bringing me, myself, and I. It's all I can do. But yeah. I'd bring the Tracy, man. but, you know. Like, like after those two days, <laughs> I, I want you sound like you got the laryngitis. I, I, I want you feeling like. I got the chest pains because I just used my, my my whole being to get so into these shows. It takes it takes years off your life, but yeah, you got to bring it. Yeah. Hell That's yeah. right. We're bringing oh, it. I know you will, Justin. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then we got Gresham uh, in a sit down with Tom Hannafin. And he's kind of. I'll give you a he, little, a little, uh, little behind the scenes on this one, Jayba. Oh. When we were going before the tapings on Sunday to the, the Titanium Perk pizza party, we walked by because it was going upstairs of the sportsplex, and as we were going into the room of the pizza party, I on the left. They were filming this. Uh, it was Tom Hannafin sitting down with Gresham, which we saw him right now. So, Ooh. so wow. just impacts creative. They use all the areas, <laughs> right? All right. So, how was a pizza party? Pizza party was good. Uh, good, good old Doctor Ross uh, led us into a room, like a classroom, really that you may or may not see on TV. Uh, and we went in there, there were some pizzas set up, uh, from a local, I don't think it was like a franchise place. Uh, but I, I know Ross asked me what I thought of the pizza because there, there, there were some, some locals very prideful in their, just like everywhere, very prideful in their oh, pizza. Sure. Um, yet I'm in my, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I don't think there's that great a pizza in this area. Like I, I give Philly and in this area, credit on a lot of things. Yeah. Pizza's not one of them. There's <laughs> passable pizza. Okay. Like New York City is fantastic pizza. New Jersey places, because you got that New York, like the upper New Jersey areas have some decent pizza. Chicago's a unique thing. A little gimmicky. I call it like I say it, but it, yeah. it's still good. Um, And there's some good pizzas here and there, but... So I gave it because I ain't no rookie, J Bone. It was in the six point. I, I, I better get it, but I gave it. I, th I thought I gave it a 6.8, but maybe it was a 6.5. It was in the 6.5 ish, 6.8 ish range. Uh, so of, that's a, that's a, that's a fair out of 10. Out of 10. Okay. So it's a, it's, it was, a, it was a good pizza. It was a good pizza. Right. Uh, and I'll tell you the most interesting. Now, this is something in all of my pizza experience. I have not seen before. There was a sliced sausage topping. There yeah. was a plain. And then there was one where it almost looked like peppers, but it was shredded pepperoni. I've never seen pepperoni shredded on a pizza before. Oh, that's unique. Like I've it's seen like, I know I've, I saw, I don't know where I saw this. Oh, like uh, when I was looking at, because we had we just had some Pizza Hut a few nights ago, 
and one of the choices for meats was ham, but it wasn't like chunks of ham. It was like shredded ham. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I get that. So, but, so that, that was the pizza. Uh, and then we did have some illuminaries joined us doing a little Q and a while we were eating the pizza. And, uh, that was Deanna Perrazzo made it stop by, uh, Santino Morella. He was holding court at first answering ah. Trey, Trey Miguel. He was nice. there. Um, and D'Lo Brown. Oh, that's awesome. He's back. Hey. He's he's back. Nothing wrong with <laughs> nothing wrong with D'Lo because are you down, Jabo? Oh, I'm absolutely down, and I can't wait to get that new uh, D'Lo Brown action figure too. There's a new D'Lo Brown action figure. Yeah, there actually is. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be yeah the the Target exclusive Legend series. Yeah, it's gonna be part of that. So that's what I'm waiting okay. for. Okay. No, I stopped yeah. at the the TNA bobblehead. <laughs> no, and this uh this the deal of brown uh action figure actually looks incredible. So what I'm planning on what? doing is buying a couple. I'll keep one like you know, Nation of Domination, because that was pretty cool. Uh and then I'm gonna make a, a TNA early TNA 2002 2003 The one that should have been world champion. Right. Yeah, that they like push to the moon and then no. <laughs> what, what are we doing here? You know, uh, like they've done with a few back then. But hey, what, what, what are you going to do? You know, it was a new company. They were just, they were new. Um, but that Jonathan Gresham. Yeah, yeah. So he, he basically says that, uh, you know, he, he was, he's, he's, trying like hell to get this whole uh, no rules thing or no um did he say no rules it, it was it was uh regarding was the x division the... no yeah, limit about... no low no limits there is and no then, limits in the exhibition and then talking about uh no rules and all this stuff and that he was upset so it sounds like what he was trying to do was turn the x division into like a pure wrestling division is that yeah. is that's what I'm kind of well that was his whole thing here? in Ring of Honor yeah right yeah and which is fine I, I thought it it was great for a while you know until you know the TK took it over and then just kind of like dumped him on his head and that was the end of that sadly um, but hey you know their loss is our gain right. Uh, but now he's saying that uh, he's not sure that impact is really for him anymore. And he uh, takes his mic off and exits stage right. And Hannafin's like, what, what, what just happened? So I don't know if, obviously it's going to be one of two things here. It's either Gresham's taking a break to be supportive to his, his missus, or he's going to uh, come back uh, and be a heel. And he's going to be like pushing this whole pure way of wrestling. And he's going to like, you know, shove it up everyone's ass and be a heel. About yeah, that could be like uh, for the ECW fans listening and watching. Uh, that could be like the old Steve Carino gimmick where he was going like. I, I'm a real wrestler to all the hardcore guys back in uh, back in the day. Oh, well, so, is that what he yeah. did? Yeah, that was his. That was his gimmick. He's, he's Mr. Professional, like you, oh. you crazy wild men out here. I'm gonna show you how to wrestle. Uh, oh, modern like day Doug really Williams, wrestle. So always, okay, always fan of a Doug Williams reference, or as I like to call Doug Williams, the talent of the British Invasion. Oh, there you go. He just retired, right? I believe he did, but then he came back. I, I'm not sure if he's officially retired because <laughs> okay. I felt like he did, and then he came back. So he may have retired again, but I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, whenever Impact does get their asses over to the UK, you know, Doug Williams is going to come back for at Maybe least an appearance. He was a pretty, pretty significant part. Of the, yeah, the whole 
I love that. Good old Ben Williams. Uh, Dirty Dango versus Santino Morella is next. This was... This is it, J-Bone. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this Dirty is Dango. Waiting for. My God. Dirty Dango wearing... Gold. I hate professional wrestling. He hates professional wrestling, but he, he apparently hates professional wrestling clothing, too, because... God, his outfit sucked balls. It was horrible. You didn't like that? No, that just... You prefer no. the gym shorts? You prefer the gym shorts he's been rocking lately? Yeah, just to go from that to, like, the, the, the bright... Um, what, what were you calling that earlier, Alicia? The tang? He was like he was covered in tang. Just Who? Oh. Dango. Dango is out. Oh, I had said to Stefan that I couldn't take him seriously wearing sparkly tang colored shorts. A lot of tang. Was, no, oh, not man. tang. It was sun kiss, uh, like oh, orange crush, yeah. orange soda. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Like my it's, orange. it's all pretty good. I like orange soda. Do you like orange soda? <laughs> I do. I do. I do. Who? But, you know, Santino Morella coming out with his classic stuff. He's pissed off. And um, he was really trying to actually out-wrestle Dirty Dango. But Dirty Dango had something up his sleeve. Or best sleeve, I should say. Um, we get someone in riot gear coming down to the ring. And uh, distracting Santino Morella. Interfering in the match, which threw him off, which then Dirty Dang. In the Scrotissimus region? Yeah, yeah, that too. Uh, I think we all felt that in the Scrotissimus region. Uh, and, and, and Bill, you, you, you knew right away. I don't know how you did, but. You, and you I don't know how it. I did either. For some reason, <laughs> this character comes out and, and is walking down the ramp right next to me and i'm like johnny bravo behold behold it but who knows maybe if 10 different people came out i would have called them all johnny bravo with my odds maybe being right on one of them uh but but and i got lucky on this at, one and they would have looked at you and said <laughs> <laughs> but it did johnny bravo being back fantastic we needed johnny bravo yeah. This is this is up there. Like we've gotten delicious aunts right now with Lish in her role. But we we needed it because we've been lacking Johnny Bravo. Like, where's the heel manager man in, in Impact Wrestling? We didn't have it. Now he's back. It's been a while. Yeah. I missed him. See, see? what what? <laughs> We've all come together and now realize that Johnny Bravo, we need him. Careful, need Alicia. Him. <laughs> I miss him. Hey, just because I said I missed him on TV doesn't mean I want to have a conversation with the fella. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Oh, wait. He's not there. Okay. But feel free to call. You're always welcome to the TNI show. Oh, <laughs> open invites. Oh, boy. To Johnny Bravo, you think? Yeah, well, I, I, if I, he was. Just like Dana Penzer called in the uh, couple weeks ago. I just that was know nice. I, I just like wanna... it. Was a weird reason, but it was nice. Yeah. <laughs> always got the open lines. The phone lines are always open on the tens of the twos. I just want to know where he got the riot gear. That's all I want to know because that was priceless. From the helmet almost fell off of him. I saw a clip of it on Twitter and it looked like I was going to be like is that the helmet that uh that Tara had all those years ago? <laughs> Luckily he didn't wear the same outfit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hey-o. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Set right up. <laughs> uh <laughs> Like wow, Bravo! That's a that's a hell of a body you got there. All right. <laughs> um, now next we get the Shaw Taraj. See, I even wrote it down here in my notes. Shaw Taraj. Thank, thank you, Alicia. I just want to thank you again for that. 
uh, clashing with MK Ultra. Now, I'm not sure when the MK Ultra kicked in. <laughs> Slamversary. Is that when it was officially kicked yeah. in? Okay. Did they announce them as that? Because I missed it. Yeah, it was in did. their it was in their Tron. It was in their Tron MK Ultra. Oh, in the background there. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, I like it. I when we were reviewing the um or no, it wasn't when we were. It was when uh, I was watching part of Bison and Steve live for the, the UK. By the way, please go check out uh, Bison and Steve running There's down everything lads. from, from Slamversary. Yeah, they did, a, they did a great job. They really did. Um, and w- one of the guys in the chat said something to the, and this is like something crazy out of like the American history channel, like some, one of those like controversial things that you don't learn in the history books, kiddies, but you'll see this on the American history channel and like stuff you like learn about decades later after stuff happened. Apparently, and I know I'm going to like screw up part of this, so just <laughs> anyone more than welcome, please fill in the blanks. MK Ultra had something to do with like like testing humans and drugs, kind of like what they used Warfare. to do. Warfare. Like, like the, the one? Warfare. Yeah, and with the LSD and all that kind of stuff. Um it, it's it goes down that road of controversy, uh, and I was just kind of like, oh my god, so this is a real thing. So yeah, I just uh, you know I don't know if that's exactly where they got that from, but um, it's interesting nonetheless. That I was like, oh, yeah. like some controversy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, and just the 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 nod to the 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 two ladies in the tag team. Um, the, the way they were, uh, you know, playing with the chains, and um, <laughs> it was, uh, it, it was an eye opener. It was like, oh, well, we haven't seen this in a while, you know. <laughs> and I ain't knocking it, you know. I think it's it, the, the think two together are great. It, it's great. an appropriate name for kind of what their coming together was. Well, if you well, do you want me to read you what MK Ultra is off the off the Google? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right. Because Project. Are you ready? Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Project MK Ultra was an illegal human experimentation program designed and undertaken by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency and intended to develop procedures. And identify drugs that could be used during interrogations to weaken people and force confessions through brainwashing and psychological torture. Okay. So yeah, I, I had I had pieces of that. Yeah, life, you but, yeah, yeah. But thank you for filling in the blanks. I, I really appreciate it. 1953 to 1973. And this is our lovely country we live in, folks. There it's just another piece of history that just makes you go. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cringe. Right. And these are the people that we're supposed to be voting for. And they like they uh, well just... no, they're all dead, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just but saying. now we got new ones <laughs> right and they're not making any better kind of laws they're not you know these are the ones that you know create this shit and I know this is going to go way out in left field but I'm just going to throw it out there the ones that create the laws in you know in some states they're like oh yeah by the way after someone passes away you can have sex with them for 45 minutes after they die this is the what? Swamp talk- yeah that's like a real thing that's a real thing that's out there you know this this is the lawmakers we're voting for and they're making they had an issue with 50 minutes <clears throat> i apparently he, i yeah. so i have this conspiracy theory and i'm pretty sure that i died around the time the pandemic happened and all of this is just a fever dream like everything <laughs> i've experienced after this it's just the last rapid fire signals of my brain 
uh, just like firing off. Like it does sound it, like a TNI show. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's similar. It's just like a fever fucking dream. Like, am I gonna wake up and be like, "Oh, I had a dream. I wasn't in Kansas anymore, and and <laughs> you were the Tin Man, and you were the Cowardly Lion, and oh my god, <laughs> uh, what is life, dude? Like, seriously, from a non-political standpoint, like, what is fucking life? We're all getting fucked. Right. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the review. So, yeah, sorry. I do that every once in a while. I'll, I'll do that. Well, you know, we've things. talked about the government and yeah. we're all very opinionated. I, I love my government. country, hate my government. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So, I, I love the whole uh, Shah Taraj clash with the MK Ultra here. Shaw Taraj basically like just backing the hell off, like the whole Jody threat, just dumping Jay on the floor, and he's just shaking. Like, like has, oh. has she been abducting him? I'm so confused by this. I don't know what she did to him to make him like this, but the fact that that was the end of the segment, and and the you know. Uh, Giselle and Savannah were like, "All right, we're out of here." <laughs> and you know what? All this Jay Vidal talk, I can't. I got to mention, he was also at the pizza party. Oh, forgot to mention Jay. That's cool. Jay, yeah. Jay, that's cool. I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> anybody who goes to a pizza party is all right in my book. No that's shit. right. No shit. You get a that's thumbs a, up. That's a good person. Yeah, I. I, I do hope that we, I mean, I love the character and I, I love what they're, you know, because he's getting involved and he's doing some shenanigans and stuff like that. And that's fine. But I do hope down the road that it becomes more than that, that we see his true in-ring talent because we haven't seen a whole lot of that. We saw a little bit, a little bit of it and recently Trinity. with Trinity, but yeah. So. You never know. Sometimes it takes a bit because remember, like it took Steve a while, Crazy Steve, before we really saw him a lot in the ring and went, "Oh, he's really good." Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like you just quit, quit thinking about the handicap. The guy's crazy. The guy's wild, and he's so talented. You know. Um, <laughs> so then we got uh, we got. Letters. And wrap it up. <laughs> just a always good advice ago. to wrap it up. We're getting, we're getting, yeah. we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, <laughs> wait, was there a double meaning in that? Anyways, uh, yeah. listen, Edwards talking to the camera, obviously talking smack about Tracy. Tracy comes out of nowhere. She starts brawling with Lish. Tracy Brooks, that is, and, uh, and there's Kaz. He starts brawling with Eddie Edwards. So um, I don't think it's done. I think we're gonna get a Lish, 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 Lish. Nice but also Tracy, so cool. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. <laughs> Got to say it with them. Um, all listen every week at this point. I'm just more and more impressed with how much they're really showcasing Lish, and we're getting to witness all these good talents that she's had that we've been deprived of all these years. Like, what a powerful moment putting her in front as a, as a, on the mic, anything. She's a good talker, and right. she's a good mouthpiece for Eddie if they're going to be paired together. Like, I I just feel like whatever they got going on right now is just a perfect fit, and I'm delighted to see more lists. And I'm glad Tracy's back. What, a, what an original, what an icon, Miss Tracy Brooks. Right, yeah, whether it's wrestling, whether it's valet, I don't care. Bring it. It's great. They can slap each other silly. I don't care. Like, let's, I'll take it. I just, as long as we're getting more lish. Yeah. It's all, it's all fun, you know? Just enjoy it for however long it lasts. Exactly. We get A, B, C, Ace and Bay. Easy as one, two, three. Oh, you beat my oh, oh, to shit. it. Oh. 
uh, title rematch. I didn't realize this was the title rematch until they uh, were talking about it on the show here. Uh, versus Subculture, who were uh, crowned and new World Tag Team Champions. Oh, and they have their own the world. Their socials. They got they they actually produced their own shirt. Their tag team champion shirt. It's not through like Shop Impact. It's through I believe it's uh through uh, I don't know if they both have it, but one of them has it. I think Flash Morgan Webster's own uh, merch store has it. Oh, oh, on PWTs okay. and it's on there. Or I don't know if it was PWTs. It may have been like uh, the cart that was a big cartel, like one of those sites. Just oh, check okay. Flash Morgan Webster's socials and you'll see it. Oh, all or right. Or Mark Andrews, I think, was retweeting it. Cool. Cool. Check it out. Um, but yeah, and I, I had a feeling that this was going to be. I mean, I was hoping that subculture were going to keep the belts. As much as I love Ace and Bay, because if Ace and Bay got it back one episode later, that would have been a sure sign for me that maybe subculture ain't sticking around that long. Mm -hmm. But subculture retained here, which tells me, and I've heard a couple things over the week, but you don't know really what to believe, you know, who's telling what out there, but it does seem like they are sticking around a while if they did retain here, which is, I think is a it good does. sign. I, they're building up the, the tag division, I feel like, putting a little more focus on it. So I think it's appropriate that it, it might even switch hands soon. It could. It could. You know, the way that they're pushing the rascals, who's to say that their next opportunity, they're not going to take those belts off of um, subculture. You know, it's I, I'm okay with this. You know me, I, I'm all right with a hot potato championship. Because sometimes and, the, the record-breaking shit is tiring. Right, right. And I don't want it to be, like, ridiculous, but I, I hear you. Like, yeah, like, look at what they did with the, with the world, the main belt there. Look at what they just did. Like, that was perfect. It's good storytelling. Yeah. yeah. Nobody and, saw that happening. No. No, especially when you had the entire company get flipped on its head where every title changed hands and then Alex Shelley retained its yep. anniversary. That was, honestly, that was refreshing. And uh -huh. that's what I wanted. So I felt even better about it. Uh, <laughs> so great it makes match. things interesting. Sorry. No, no, it does. It totally does. It makes you go, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Ace and Bay versus Subculture, amazing match. Just the, the, the tag division's on fire again, I feel. Um, any other thoughts on this? Uh, was, you got the uh, I mean, the rascals a, are right uh, there, but a good, yeah, and got a good future here with these tag teams. Obviously, Subculture, ABC, and, and Rascals, like that's a and, and we know we saw the machine guns kind of waiting in the wings. So, and then obviously, got. I don't know how long Sammy and Rich are going to continue to be a tag team together, uh, but as long as they are, that's a strong team. So the tag division, uh, obviously, they've they've reestablished because I know a lot of people are always like, "Oh, the tag division." So it seems like now it's it's in pretty good hands. Yeah, the mayor here apparently wants uh, Impact to rehire black and don't red speak of that. shirt security. You know, we, we don't speak of black and red shirt security and, uh, for any of you who watched our uh our classic nwa tna uh reviews you you know about those guys and if you watch the classic uh episodes but um yeah we, we had our opinions about that <laughs> oh yeah that, that, that gets uh, a little too some of those guys got into some uh some troubles shall we say Something, yeah, troubles, trouble, trouble, trouble. No, that's different. Uh, then we get uh, no medical update on Sabin, sadly, no appearance, no update. So, um, yeah, I just it just because uh, uh, the world was wondering. That was the one match in the whole pay per view where everyone kind of went, 
whoa, we were not expecting a quick, you know, I, I, I don't like calling matches like this that are not supposed to be a squash, but this was, was an absolute squash, you know? Um, oh, it was underhanded tactics. Shit. Well, he was attacked pre-match. He was, but he toughed it out. But he wasn't ready to go. He he wasn't he wasn't ready for the bad child. He absolutely was not. Um, well, Alicia, who is the uh, the Leo Rush of the TNI show, she <laughs> could probably speak more on this on uh, Leo Rush's tactics. What did you? What, what did not you? I, I know he's you a bad you child. You, no, he's Blackheart. Alisa, you you said you didn't watch the whole pay per view, but you saw plenty of clips from the show. What, what did you think of this? Uh, it's, it's smart. <laughs> I don't know how in yeah. depth you thought I was going to get the with results. It. it got the uh, results. It got results. I think it was. I, I believe there's an underlying reason why the decision was made, but I'm all right with it. Um, yeah, yeah was, sorry, was, uh, I can't give you like a Kevin Costner speech on it, but no, yeah, no, uh, no. I was just curious what you thought of it. By flaming briquettes. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it was, it, and I love Leo Rush. You know, it's not the match that I think we expected, but it's the match we got, and. This kid is just holding 10 pounds of gold in his hand. I mean, he might as well be because he's the absolute future here. But with a giant, you know, he's he's a mystery. He's a mystery, but I can't wait to see what happens next. We'll get to more with his more with his stuff in a bit. Uh Josh Alexander, here we go, folks. Coming out, cutting the promo. There was some uh, audio issues on Access TV. For those of you who missed it on Twitter, they did direct you to a uh, link on YouTube. I'm, I'm guessing they put the final segment by itself on on YouTube. You can watch for free, and uh, which contained all the, all the all the chaos. Yeah, and that's exactly. Uh, I was actually watching the cable uh, side of things, and then yeah, it, when it went to nothing, I went to the YouTube, uh, rewound it a couple minutes because they're not dead even at the end there, uh, and watched it that way. But um, so and, and this this whole end segment was. It was going good and then got really wonky at the end. Um, and and it, it ended very abruptly. And uh, we'll kind of go around the horn because I got a feeling I don't, I'm not the only one that had this opinion. Um, Josh Alexander starts out, he's cutting this promo. And there's here's the big question Is Shelly, Alex Shelly, good enough to beat? This version of Josh Alexander, Alex Shelley comes out and he's like, Oh, yeah, because I beat Steve Macklin, I now beat Nick Aldis, but last year I couldn't beat you. So now, yeah, that bears a question you know, is he is he ready for this match to happen? And before we get any further thoughts on that, we are interrupted by Leo Rush. The winner of, uh, you know, the X Division Championship at Slamversary. And before he even gets in the ring, Matthew Raywald kind of gives it away, which I wish he didn't, but it, it certainly got the TV audience thinking that uh, maybe he was going to bring up the discussion of cashing in. Uh, the, the X Division oh, I think title. We, everybody in the crowd was starting to chant option C as soon as he walked out. Oh, see, I didn't hear that. But I I was like, why, why is he out here? But then yeah, it's yeah, the the, the the hamsters in my head weren't fed tonight. So yeah, I was probably the last <laughs> one to figure it out. Well, this uh, reminded me, this whole segment reminded me a lot of the post 
bound for glory in Albany last year where we referenced it often. The Bobby Fish, where's the lie came in uh, because oh, it was the it was like a 20 minute promo of everybody coming out to stake their claim at the title. Mm, and it was yeah. kind of very similar. Like everybody's getting in on this. But like we talk about a reset show, obviously almost all new champions. The one title that didn't change, now everybody's kind of making their play for it. Yeah. Because he wasn't the only one, J-Bone. Yeah. <laughs> so Kushida comes out and he's like, well, before you cash in your title, you got to you got to beat me first. And then we get Bully Ray's music. And then, uh. Yeah, it was like as soon as he hit and then uh, he signaled Moose and Myers to come in and attack everyone in the ring. Uh, Bully and his, his new crew, I guess. Uh, what an upgrade from the good hands. Trying to, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, they yeah. abandoned them? <laughs> The good hands are bullyless now. I mean, I like uh, Moose and Myers, but just uh, damn it, bully. Anyways, <laughs> um, so well, Moose and Myers not winning at the pay per view obviously felt they needed to upgrade themselves. So then you align them yourselves with Bully, and maybe you get things more your way. So they try offering up Alex Shelley as an offering to. Leo Rush, Leo Rush hops down from the turnbuckle, kind of ponders it for a second, drops down, rolls underneath the uh, ring ropes, and exits the ring up the ramp. And um, and that's where that's pretty much where the episode ends because everyone's attacked and that's it. Um. Kind of a kind of a wonky, weird finish. Very interesting uh, decision from Leo Rush to do that. Apparently, he wants to do things his way. He's always wanted to do things his way. He doesn't want to get conned into something else, and then uh, probably end up getting hurt himself in the end, which uh, is very smart. So you could also call him the hero here, but not really. Uh, what do you guys think about this end segment? I I thought I I think it was kind of like just follows that whole reset. Uh, mm -hmm. Did it end? I think that was the whole thing. Like there wasn't a clean ending. The heels are kind of like where what what is the title picture? I don't think we're supposed to really know uh, where everything's going to fall. We know obviously the X division titles in play. Probably whoever comes out with that's probably going to try to cash in. Um, but it seems like uh, Shelly, like it says, everyone's against Shelly now. Like it's like the, the roster versus Shelly. Uh, it's going to be tough for him. It's to a target. It's a big target. But all in all, before, you know, anything else happens title wise, we're, we're probably going to get a few, uh, <laughs> holla holla we're gonna get some tag matches out of this you know <laughs> hodgepodge tag teams gotta love it it's like we don't know what else to do so we'll just put them in a team even though it don't make no sense the, Leo Rush will set up I, the, the formula with that up. is always that the team <laughs> that is most well acquainted with each other is going to be the winners. <laughs> You're both good guys, right? Okay. It's all about the acquaintances. Yeah. So, so, so Josh Alexander, Alex Shelley and Kushida versus bully moose and Myers. And like I said, Leo Rush is just going to sit in the bleachers and eat popcorn and be like, all right, you guys kill each other. I'll mm -hmm. cash in this when the time is right. Yeah. Smartest man out there right now. He's going to end up looking like it in the end. I guarantee it. Well, but if they decide to do that, and let me just kind of be the devil's advocate here. So if they decide to allow Leo to cash in for option C, um, 
where does that leave the X Division Championship? Like, kind of just out in open air because it doesn't seem like they've started anything as far as someone who could be an, an oncoming contender if they just threw Leo right into the mix. Does that mean we're just going to get another group match? Five well, minutes. Right now, since tournament. Kushida has that. Yeah, you could do the tournament, obviously. <laughs> Well, since Kushida has the X, yeah. that makes him the number one X division contender. You can't so. take that away from him, right? Yeah, yeah. So then, I mean, he like may have facto. He may have to wait, you know, for the the right time. It's like carrying well, I think the briefcase that's, around. Yeah, I think that's kind of what he was going after with uh, when Leo was talking about option C. It's like you got to deal with me getting my chance before you my get option is steve <laughs> crazy steve. Option yeah, or, steve or taurus either one of those either guys. fucking one of them it'd be amazing steve though because steve needs a belt i'm sorry the dude's so talented oh, I, I personally feel Trend. like he could be world championship level but that's the mission will do TV, digital, media, championship, whatever. Take it. <laughs> well, it's just, again, it's like, they, I feel maybe um, everyone deserves a chance. Everyone gets a trophy. <laughs> but there's just some people who stand out more, and I feel like Steve's been an outstanding member of the Impact roster on and off for so many years, and right. he was a great tag team champion, and he proved when he wasn't in Impact that he has the ability to hold other belts and be believable. Uh, he's great on the mic, great character work, like yeah. overall a total package, a great fucking wrestler. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, but I get I get it. There, There's a lot that goes behind picking, and when you are going for the main belt or something bigger, they, you, it's like face of the company kind of shit, and I don't know. <laughs> it, oh, there's a lot of politicking to it, because you have, you know, the, the sponsors and the corporate and all that shit's got to have a final say in it, too. So, yeah. Well, I tell you what it does look like is, uh, yeah, Gary in the chat says Laredo kid too. Um, there's, uh, it does seem, and across the board, there's several people that are leaving Triple A. Now, however many of those that have, you know, either gone to Ring of Honor, AEW, Impact Wrestling, hopefully will put more of a permanent footprint in said company that they want to stay in for now. So, um, and it, that's, even if that means, you know, crazy Steven and especially Torus becomes an actual permanent, you know, roster member, then you're going to see more stuff. I think it, I think it depends on uh, sometimes stuff, may or may not happen with crazy Steve, depending on what's going on with Taurus. That might be a big part of it, but who knows? Okay. So, but I, I, I hope, um, I hope Taurus does actually, uh, sign permanently someday that'd be great there you go that'd be great but uh that is the episode i know we just went over the two hour mark i was hoping to cut it a little shorter but uh you know news man bill's, Jay, news. Cutting it. bill's news took forever jeez bill's news. No, i'm kidding <laughs> say what the show's news um so yeah uh Good Fallout episode. Uh, some fun stuff. We got some new beginnings, some new rivalries. And uh, we are on the road to, well, Chicago's next. Emergence? But, uh, uh, I believe yes. Emergence. Now, last time we were in Chicago, this time last year, we had Emergence. This time it's just tapings. Emergence is happening somewhere else. Oh, okay. So, Toronto. 
Okay. Back to Canada. <laughs> Love Canada. You're much. getting enough, J Bode. You're getting bound for glory. You're getting like, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on. No, I'm just being sassy. Um, I, I I love it. Just <laughs> hey, as long as the I don't care where they go, as long as the the places are full, it's all I care about. You know, pack them in. Just it's yeah, getting yeah, crazy. Yeah, it just says you can't forget the multiverse. I don't uh, know if I can yeah, make it for that. Multiverse is going to be a lot of fun too. Yeah, so they got to build that up too. So they have a task in front of them. It's a lot of stuff coming up to build towards in a short amount of time. So two shows you really got to build. So there you go. Yeah. Which can get a little nuts, but um, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Multiverse will be on fight. <coughs> Emergence will be on the ultimate insider. And impact plus J. Well, impact plus. Yes. Never forget impact plus. Never. Yeah. Whether you love it or hate it, it's still there, and it's still yeah. I'm gonna stick with you. Can say the same thing about the company. (laughs) It has outlasted WCW and ECW combined. It has, it has, and it's just uh, man, kicking ass. Love it. So, uh, thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Bill. And thank you all for joining us for the fallout from Slammiversary. On your way out, you know what to do. Make sure you smash that like button. Smash that sub button. Bring that bell for notifications. Why? So that you know when more of our content hits your screen. Good night, folks. Take care. Hug someone.